way, about halfway between where I've parked the car and uh, where I'm heading to. The screen's a bit misty there, isn't it? It's quite cold up the top of here. There's frost already formed on the ground. There's lots of condensation from my breath. But, uh, it's a bit of a mixed bag in the sky. I can't really show you it, but you'll see in the photographs. Lots of cloud, but there's like these big pockets of like empty sky where there's just lots of stars. So I'm just heading my way there now. Oh, I haven't got long to go. I've been over 10 minutes of walking. I've been walking for about 15 minutes or something like that. But uh, looks like it's going to be a good night. It's very cold though. I have to say it's very cold. My fingertips are really just beginning to warm up. And that's where I've got gloves on. There's some great views from around here though. It's most of Brighton down there with the lights. The moon's out to play tonight, which is awesome. I've come from that direction behind me. And down that way, you may see some buildings. Down that way is Ditchlin. So I'm on the top of the crest. I can show you that on that map, on this map now. way through there and it's actually gleaming off of the dew pond. It looks absolutely beautiful. And as I was coming down the path sort of behind me that way, it looked like there was actually someone here but there's not. It's just a beautiful, beautiful moonlight shining on that dew pond. It's absolutely fantastic. The sky and the stars are just brilliant. There's a massive gap just opened up which is fantastic. So I'm just gonna set the tripod up, just uh, do a few test shots, get the right timings, right exposure. Just um, settle in and wait for the rest of the guys. I've got, I've got my mate Kevin coming. He's, uh, he usually comes out with us on these big night trips. And uh, I've also got a mate called Hugh Wilton. I've actually seen for about four, maybe four or five years, something like that. So uh, He's another keen photographer. So he's going to, hopefully he comes along tonight. He's got to come all the way from Eastbourne. And I'm in Brighton, so there's a fair bit of travelling for him to do. But uh, that's all to come later. But for now, I'm just going to set up and get on with things. It's going to be a bit of a dark video, obviously, because you can't see much. So most of it's just going to be this, my head floating about. But it's the photos that we're here for, and that's what I'm trying to capture. So I'll catch up with you guys when I'm set up. set up two initial shots really. The first one I forgot to record but it was looking straight across the dew pond and it had, uh, let's see, I'll turn it down. That's not the best is it? You see my face? No, I'm just going to get a cyclops of an eye. Yeah so um, I shot across the dew pond and then into the sun. and uh, uh, Into the sun, into the moon sorry. Uh, and then I've come around the dew pond itself and now I'm facing up towards Orion which is straight up above me here. And uh, I'm about to exchange, so I've got the 28 to 80 mil on there now. And it's only 3.5 f-stop, uh, so I'm gonna exchange to the 50 mil, and that's got uh, 1.8, I think it is. Maybe maybe 1.2, I'm not sure. And then I'm gonna try over that, and I'm just gonna look straight up to the stars and just get something up there, and then just leave it open for a short period of time and see if I can catch any meteorites. Since I've been here, I've seen about two, so I'm hoping that something will come of that. But uh, if not, I've got the whole place to myself. It's amazing. No sign of uh, Kevin and Hugh yet. Once I'm, now I'm here and I've climatised, it's not so cold. Back up on top of the hill there, that was, that was freezing. How many more times I can say it's cold? <laughs> So, uh, yeah, well, anyway, enjoy the next, enjoy the last two shots I've just taken, and I'll catch up. Well, I've come 
around to the other side of the jeep on this time and now I'm going to face towards where the Gemini meteors are coming down from, they're sort of coming above our head, this, uh, how you can see, it's coming across the sky that way. Um, we get a bit of cloud popping in and every now and then but it disappears relatively quickly. There's just big pockets of it. But once it goes, it clears the sky up and there's loads of stars to be seen. I've taken a few shots, mainly of just the star trails, just to see if I can catch the odd meter on there. Hugh's here now, Hugh's over that way. I won't shine the light because he's doing a photo, but he's over there. It's just a question of sitting around waiting, really. Well, it's pretty, pretty freezing up here, actually. I mean, the ground's totally solid. I don't know where you can see that. It's frozen over. Um, I'll just bring that torch down. Uh, yeah, it's pretty frozen up here. And we're just taking pictures of the Dupont that's just behind me. I can show you a couple now if you like. <laughs> going to show you some on the back of the screen but there's a couple of guys there that are just they're shooting now so I don't want to disturb too much of the light but it's, it's a gorgeous sort of like orange light coming from you can just about see the orange light there and just in the middle of the frame of it there's a there's a beautiful tree and it's being backlit really nicely clouds are forcing their way back down it's great we're gonna call it a quit call it quits now say good night because uh, I want to get home it's warm where it's warm even my lips are beginning to get freeze up, even with this giant beard I have. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.